Welcome to this week's Ambassador News Flash where we have a look at what the Dawa ASFN Ambassadors has been up to this last couple of weeks. But first of all, we would like to thank Spotted Granter for accommodating the ASFN Dawa Ambassadors on their trip to Port St. John's. So if you're in the area, make sure to give them a call. We kickstart this week with our father and son Dio, Tyron and Jeremy Bain, reeling in a couple of more sardine run sharks and then making their way offshore where they hooked into a couple of good tuna, sacrificing the odd tuna to the taxman. Tyron and Jeremy were using the Dawa Saltiga 4500H, Saltiga 7 foot spinning rod and 6O Mustad tuna circle hooks. Then our new addition to the AS Dawa team, but definitely not new to fishing, Anand Naka showed us that in worst case scenario, a fish can be landed without a rod. Guys, this is extreme fishing. I've actually got a cow shark or some shark on here, on this other line. What actually happened? Oh, it looks like a spot here. Oh, not a cow shark, not a shark. Dalen accidentally hooked up on the line. So, so what actually happened now? I'm trying to reel this line in. Now I've got a shark on the other end. <laughs> <laughs> this, look at that, look at that shark. Look at it! Anyway, it looks like a cow shark. Let me go and get it. Okay, Dalen, go and get it quickly. Guys, this is next level angling. This is a first, trust me. This cow shark was a female and measured in at 176 centimeters. Anand's cow shark was caught on a 12-0 Mustad tuna circle hook. 0.058 Kingfisher Giant Abrasion and his Saltiga 50HA. That was definitely up for the job. On again, this time with my Saltiga 50HK and the saltest uh, multiplier rod. Little Mickey Hamilton showed that he's not going to let his dad have all the fun and landed himself a beautiful little shark, just his fighting size. The apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Or shall we say, shark hunting runs in the family. Our father and son team from the south coast, Josh and Dean Pretorius, also delivered some fish. Josh hooked into a beautiful rackatoof shark using his Saltus 8000 Grande Elite rod and 30 pound J braid. Dean caught a beautiful catfish rock cod using his Saltus 6500, his Grande Elite 14 foot 6 and 30 pound J braid. Dean was also using a Mustard 80 circle hook. Then Ray Thompson, also going out on an edible charge, managed to land himself a couple of beautiful bronze bream. Ray was using his Saltus 11 foot rod, Saltus 4000 reel and 20 pound gator braid. Jace Cavendor, also a new addition to the ASF Dawa team, also put a couple of fish on the scoreboard. On the point here, my top shot has just come in, as you can see, after about 25 minutes. Yeah, just trying to figure out where I'm going to bring this fish in. A lot of rain coming, so I'm going to get this fish out as quickly as possible. I don't want to get wet. I've still got another couple more days here in the trans sky. Get a couple more fish. I got a grey yesterday of about 62 kilos as well, and then the storm came through. Yeah, and it's on its way again, so I'm glad to have got a baiting, and hopefully, I land this fish. Marius Bard caught a beautiful cop on his Saltus Grand Elite 15 foot Tower Saltus 8000, and this was tagged and released. Doesn't matter where he is, Marcus Portgitte always takes the opportunity to jump on his paddle ski and go fishing. Landing a barbel on his Saltus 4500 with 30 pound J braid. Later the week, Marcus also mastered the colt, landing a couple of trout in the icy conditions. Dale Mack caught a couple of cave bass, the biggest one being 4 kilograms, and a sandy. This was all in his Saltus 8000 50 pound J braid and his Grande Elite 14 foot 6. Then Mike Pereira, fast becoming the Garrick Guru, caught a Garrick on his Black Widow 4000 BR on his Lexus 6 foot 6 rod and Sensor 10 pound nylon. Remember to subscribe to the Kingfisher and the ASFN channel.